Morning, good morning, good morning. I am back on Come On Mountain, guys. I slept hard last night. I, it's been a whirlwind this month, guys. I have done so much traveling, and so much moving and shaking, and whew, but it is Monday. It is time to get at it. Now that we got the Oki Homestead Expo behind us, it is time to start getting ready for the next big event. Freedom Weekend. It's about to go down here on Come On Mountain here in about uh, one month. Actually, one day less than one month. Actually, three days less than one month because it's actually the weekend before the 4th. So yeah, running out of time, guys. Well, as you can see, I'm not, I don't have a cabin in the background. I do not have a cabin in the background right now. And I'm actually sitting right now where there's probably going to be a tent here in about a month. Because I am in the camping area. I didn't came over here this morning, guys. And look. I got that guy right over there. He's cooking breakfast. I made a deal with him. I said, I'll bring all the stuff. You cook it on your flat top. So I packed a little travel bag with some, what is it, a three-wheat, 12-wheat, 16-wheat bread or some junk like that. It's some kind of, it's got all kinds of stuff in that bread. Multi-grain, so a whole bunch of that grain grain. And uh, I brought some sausage over and some eggs, and I was like, you cook it on the flat top, and I'll supply it. So it's kind of cool. You just kind of walk down the path with some groceries, and it gets cooked up at the other end. <laughs> you got to look. Let me show you what we got going on here. Whoop. A little bit of what's happening. Whoop. Oh, yeah. We got sausage, we got eggs, and we got that. And what we're going to do, I make this for this guy all the time, Yeah, is we're going to put the cheese on here and then melt the cheese, then put everything on there, and then make it a grilled cheese. Sausage, egg, and cheese, grilled cheese. It, it is bomb day. It is good. And then we got Lissa over here. She's having her coffee. Yeah. She's not much of a breakfast person, but uh, Uncle Dave is making her eat this morning. <laughs> Uh, because we got a busy day. We got a busy day. Uh, Liz is going to be doing a whole lot of work behind me right here. Uh, they are starting preparations to move to the landing. And uh, just going through all of their stuff now that the kids are in Florida and stuff. It gives them an opportunity to do a little purging. <laughs> spring, spring cleaning. Yeah, ladies, hey, it's still spring. It's still spring. Is it still spring here? It is moment? still spring. Don't you feel sprung? I feel sprung every day. <laughs> Do you feel sprung? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she's going to be doing a little bit of spring cleaning over here, just going through clutter and stuff like that, guys. Anytime you make a move like this, you're in a small space and stuff, and you got to get all this stuff for your new area and stuff like that. You end up getting very cluttered very fast, and then you add three little munchkins into the mix. Yeah. Because they want to save everything. Save everything. <laughs> everything is important. Everything. Mm -hmm. So it's a good time for old mama and dada to go ahead and go through everything. And uh, let them keep what they really need. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, today me and Mike's going to go over there to the septic area. And chop down a couple of trees and move some stuff. We're, we're honestly on the down stretch over there. As far as uh, being ready for me to go over there and dig. So the plan is, is we're going to get all of that down, get that area prepped. That way that area is prepped and ready to go. Because then uh, the, tomorrow we are going to finish the driveway and clear on back to the Dreamers Landing back there. And they, <laughs> did you hear Alyssa say, woohoo? Um, we actually plan on doing this in a couple of weeks, honestly. Um we was originally going to do it probably two weeks before Freedom Weekend to get this area cleared up for campsites. But uh, I got a lot of digging and stuff that I'm going to have to do with the septic. And I won't need Mike's uh, help for. So it would be a good opportunity to go ahead and get them moved down there first. And get this area right here leveled out and kind of tilled up. That way I could go ahead and plant some grass seed and try to go ahead and get some grass here before the campers come so 
that way it's not so dirty in everybody's tents and stuff like that. I think it'll just make for a cleaner uh, camp area. So that's the goal, uh, being that when I went to Florida for two weeks and came back to a golf course over there, now I know it can happen. <laughs> so um, I'll probably have to run some hoses over here with sprinklers and stuff and kind of water it in the mornings and evenings to get it there because Mother Nature really worked in my favor while I was on vacation. It rained a lot, which helped the whole grow in the grass cause a little bit. But as you can see, I planted grass. And we actually got quite a bit coming up. We got this area right here, which is the worst area that needs to be leveled out anyways. Yeah. That needs to be tilled up. But this grass is spreading pretty good. Well, this is also the high traffic area. Yeah. You know, we're back and forth right here. The kids are playing right here. Yeah. And we got a lot of groceries. The car is parked right here. Yeah. yeah. We, we've actually been talking about logistics and all of that other stuff uh, last night in the evening there. We were hung out um they cooked me uh burgers last night oh, and stuff brisket burgers some uh bacon wrapped brisket cheeseburgers yeah and some home fries and some yo know, on the flat top yeah yeah so we was over here and we was just talking about logistics and stuff of everything and schedule and all of that um we already got the parking area uh figured out we just got to do a little bush hogging and clearing uh, we already know where the campsite's going to be and all of that. We know where the entertainment area is going to be. And for the most part, all of those areas are cleared out, uh, except for this area where we got to move them. And uh, so it's really just a matter of uh, kind of getting things cleaned up, moved, organized, and uh, getting it done. Uh, Simple Life Reclaim and myself is also speaking a little bit over this weekend about logistics and food and stuff like that. So we definitely got a lot on our plate coming up. But the first step is getting the area over there for the septic tank prepped because the main thing with that is, is I really want, we're going to have porta potties here for the event. So the bathroom's really not that big of a deal for that. But I really do want to have a working normal toilet before my granddaughter gets here. Um, she's seven years old. And just to have to deal with her trying to figure it out every day, <laughs> it's just better to have a toilet. So that's the main reason why I'm pushing so hard right now for the septic tank. And of course, I'm about to have the whole family up here at the end of the summer. And I definitely, that's a lot of garbage bags and burning. <laughs> so going to need to go ahead and get it done. So that's the big push on there. So we're going to get this area cleaned up today. We're going to get the septic tank area prepped and ready to dig and all of that other stuff today. And then tomorrow, we're going to be down there at the Dreamer's Landing, starting to clear. I hope this one right here is going to get some rest tonight, because tomorrow's going to be a long day. Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> because we are turning Uber loose <laughs> down there on the landing. I'm ready. And the last time I took Uber down there, they was kind of shocked at how much Uber did in the amount of time that Uber did. It was a... Uh, it was a serious day, it was, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> Some stuff got done. <laughs> they thought that uh, it, we would just make it a little bit back there, and we went way back there. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tougher sledding this time, though, because we kind of used nature's path, sort of, to kind of get back there um, where we're at. We got enough winds in the road for privacy now. Now it's a straight shot back, so whatever's in the way has got to go. And uh, we might maneuver a little one way or the other to miss a big tree that they might want to keep or something like that. But for the most part, it's going to be a straight shot on back there. And then once we get to where the camper area is going to be, I'm going to clear out like a rectangle section or whatever to get them started. I'm not trying to clear out their whole yard right now or anything like that. We're just trying to get the camper back there and them enough little space around it to function. And then from there, they can start parking it out slowly and stuff like that. And then when Uber's available, bring Uber down there and take chunks out when they're ready. So that's the game plan. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes here, guys, on the mountain. Uh, my breakfast just got ready. Booyah! Booyah! Yep. So, yeah, there, there's a lot. And then uh, Hazel's going to be here in 17 days. Hazel! Seven days. It's the countdown. Um, so y'all will be seeing her here shortly. I know a lot of y'all are ready. 
Look at that. Ooh, look at all that. Oh, we gotta refocus. Look at all that goodness, guys. Look at all of it. <laughs> and uh, Alyssa, you know, Alyssa's being a little bougie today. A little bougie. Let me tell you a story, guys. So I come over here with this multi-grain bread, right? And I'm, I'm like, mm -hmm, bringing the good stuff to, to the old landing over here. And we get to cooking. Well, Mike gets to cooking. And uh, all of a sudden, Alyssa says, no, no, no. I want that cheese bagel on mine. That shit, my multi-grain bread wasn't good enough for Lissa. <laughs> Explain just, yourself, Lissa. <laughs> I just found this yesterday at Walmart, and I want to try it. Yeah. So I was looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. So as you can see over there on the grill, there's some bagels. You got old bagel flipper. And to be honest with you guys, that's how I ended up with two sandwiches. Because I was just going to eat one, but uh, you know. I just can't see wasting groceries, so I was like, I'll be your huckleberry. So, already buttered the bread. <laughs> already, but the bread was already buttered. So, I'm going to eat two sandwiches, and the bougie homesteader <laughs> is going to have a bagel. <laughs> would you like a latte? Bagel. Would you like a latte with your bagel? <laughs> no, she would want a caramel frappe. A That's caramel right. frappe. <laughs> Uh, it's a good morning, guys, though. As y'all can see, we're just kind of hanging out and just eating. Going to get a good breakfast in this and stuff. We're kind of, you know, talking about logistics and game plans and stuff like that for the day and uh, for the week, honestly, because uh, it's go time here on the mountain. So I think I'm going to get off here before my sandwiches get cold because ain't nobody got time for a cold breakfast sandwich. Come on. But we're going to get at it. Ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready for this week? Because it's going to be a big one. If you have not liked and subscribed to this channel yet, make sure that you do because there's going to be a lot of bean spilling going on this week. And if you haven't been over to my main channel, come on Homestead and make sure that you go over there, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell because it's about to get serious over there. Come on. All right, guys. I hope you all have a beautiful start to your week. Happy Monday. Don't look at Monday as a bad thing. Look at it as a good thing. It's another day closer to your goals. Go get it. So until we see each other again, guys, come on. Hey, keep it real.